before the kickoff. It's obviously a, a party atmosphere. The two teams in the city, there's great rivalry, whether it be from neighbours or family members, support different sides, and the pitch is in perfect condition. It was down there earlier on today, and it's firm, but I'm sure we're going to see a real fast game. The players are absolutely pumped and ready to go in this derby game. It's Rovers and Mantelato who get this game underway. Phil Bentham, our referee. Conditions nigh on perfect. We haven't even got uh, howling winds you normally First have on this move. ground. Snee puts the kick in. And Rovers get their first touch of the ball. Knock on, knock on. Hey, we go, is it play on? Well, yes. play on. The ball picked up, and Tumavave has seized that opportunity. And Phil Bentham will surely go to the video ref. That ball returned from the kick. It James, came loose. Try. Tumavave picked it Just up. Just check how the ball came out, please. And he did the knock on the ball. Might be very lucky to get away with this. Is there a grab? I think there's a. An intentional grab, he looks around, he's looking for the ref's whistle. Are they, Phil Bentham. Are they saying it's a loose carry? Mantelato certainly leads with that arm that he's carrying the ball in. First decision within minutes of the kickoff, and it's no try. And he'll have seen more that they've really got a game on here. Blair, oh, good quick hands. And Mantelato coming back in for Ben Kakei. Cut down. Dane Tills. Like a runaway giraffe. Six foot six, playing the ball. <laughs> Kelly. Cocaine popping up again. Ryan Shaw. Shaw for the line. Fantastic game this is, and it deserved an outstanding try. Beautiful movement and an outstanding finish from the young man from Barrow. Started his career at Warrington, went to Bradford last year. He's got some utility value, he can play at fullback, play at centre. He's showing what he can do on the wing. He's a big man playing on the wing in the, the Pat Richards mould or the Josh Mantelato. What a lovely balance here, lovely right foot step. First try to hold KR. Here is Becca Pagliacina off the bench. First Super League appearance of the season for the big man. Now Sneed, Sneed. Minichello, oh, the ball's been snapped by Ken Sio, and Sio, it's see you later for Hull Kingston Rovers. <laughs> Ken Sio, second try of the game, his third try of the season, snaffling that pass as Hull FC tries to be expansive. Normally a wing man playing in the centres, but nevertheless a great finisher. He got 24 tries last year, and he's that sort of finisher. Debsa back in the side after that four-game ban for the tackle. And Michael Shenton earlier in the season. That's a paid penalty. Danny Hatton furious with that decision from referee Bentham, but. Very clumsy, see Palacina, the number 14. And this is bang on to the posts. Yeah, yeah. And sails over towards those FC supporters uh, in the distance. So this game's top oh, will at the way we're going. It needs FC to find some attacking potency. Well, they've just not got any rhythm so far, Hull FC. And they haven't got... The defence together at the moment, there's Maurice Blair getting the pass away, but Dempster finds Thornley. Thornley might go all the way. Ian Thornley adds to Hull FC's woes. Well. as well. Again, the, the shift players and going into collision, just riding those tackles, keeping your feet, looking for one of your teammates who's in a better position than you. And then Ian Thornley, when he goes and when he's attacking the Hull FC defenders who are backing off, trying to buy that bit of time, trying to get one of the teammates inside who's going to come back and help them out. You've got to say, Blur, he's strong. The Depsa gives the ball to Paul, he holds it in two hands, then backs himself to score the try. Great finish as well. So his fellow Italian international, Josh Mantellato, will try and goal this from the sidelines. Mantellato. 
bringing the kick up. The breeze, a gentle one at his back, he's teed that up perfectly, swings it through the posts. Coming up to the hour mark, they trail by 18 points to nil. Against an improving Hawkins to Rovers side, and this man's presence has something to do with that. Albert Kelly. Kelly has picked up a knock there. Well, he's getting excited to high Sean Albert Kelly. I think it's Bowden, Josh Bowden. He's got a smaller and more agile man. There you go, watch this. So they've got the players who can cause Hull FC problems, and can this kick go over? Pressure kick here from Mantelato. But he can handle that pressure. Elegant, easy for Josh Mantelato. 20 points to nil, easy it isn't. But Hull Kingston Rovers on their way to their first nilling of their arch enemies since 1993. 20 points to nil, the scoreline at the moment. for Jamie Shaw. Rovers went to sleep, Shaw pounced. Great score for Just need to uh, settle down to Hull Kingston Rovers just in case they're starting to get a little bit anxious. They still hold a, a decent lead, but they've got Hull FC fired up now, coming at them, fired up and looking for more points. And fired up and getting it from Danny Houghton. They're back in this game with a vengeance. For those supporters, it's turned around for Lee Radford and Danny Houghton gets a second try of the game to make it 20 points to 10. King to come. Well, we've got a game on now. Lee Radford at half time, ask his place, push yourself into the next hole. Look at how many black and white players are offering themselves. Some question marks on some of these offloads, but you can't count the quality, energy, wow. and enthusiasm. Something's been something that's been lacking in for the whole FC players and the whole FC team in general. Good stuff. Gets them back in this game. Scott Taylor providing the last pass. Those are the boos that you can hear from those black and white fans. Great stuff. Scott Taylor, Liam Watts, Danny Halton. Three of the biggest players for Hull FC. Move! Hull retreating to their own try line. Houghton, Sneed, Sneed, long ball. Ellis gets it, clutches it, back to Shaw. Shaw trying to improvise, doing so, doing so well. Mahi Fanua kicks ahead. And Kukane pulls a cucumber, but they were taken out, says the referee. He's bouncing the ball, Natalie's in his gym, Webster. We're back, come on. Fanua! Mahe Fanua has got over the try line, right under the nose of the referee, Phil Bentham, and the gap narrows still further. Those Hull FC supporters cannot believe it. Lee Radford remains as cool as a cucumber, but Mahe Fanua back in the side after five games out, get his second try of the season and making the most of that penalty. Well, it comes around because of this penalty here. From Foley, Fanua is the man who's taken out from the whole KR left centre. A simple play, and that's too soft on your own try line. Danny Houghton, such intelligent, the normal pass. Ian Thornley just loses his man. He thinks that he's looking and concentrating on the man who's sweeping out the back. Takes his eyes off that man, and wow, this is it. James Webster knows that they are under pressure now. Watts Two. eventually brought to ground about uh, 25 metres oh. out. James Webster Go. looking at the clock. Wondering if his side can withstand the pressure that's coming their way at the moment. He's Mahe Fanua. Fanua gets the pass away to Michaels. Michaels steps back in field and gets over the try line. And Steve Michaels brings the scores level. Unbelievable. Hull FC celebrates. We were talking about their first nilling since 1993, not so long ago. Now it's 20 points apiece. And Lee Radford remains ice calm. The 
supporters of Hull Kingston Rovers cannot believe it. Those of Hull FC are beside themselves with jubilation. Number four of the season for Steve Michaels. Oh, well, what a ten minutes we've had here. What a ten minutes. Steve Michaels, the eventual recipient, there's the offload. The ball is galloped up by Hull FC. Danny Washbrook playing a standoff today after the injury to Carlos Trumabavi. And the big fella, Fanua, he gets the offload. That try still needs some finishing. And Steve Michaels had to show composure, had to be cool. Here's the offload. Right foot step, back inside. 20 points all. Holy moly. What this, a game. This takes some finishing, doesn't it, Michaels? Ben Kakein normally very strong in the tackles, but look what it means to those Hull FC fans. And Mark Sneed, can he kick this conversion to take his side two points clear in what has been a brilliant final 20 minutes? 59 minutes, Hull Kingston Rovers didn't give Hull FC a sniff. And since then, the world has fallen in on Hull Kingston Rovers, and Mark Sneed could, at two points here, to put FC ahead. <laughs> Hull Kingston Rovers 20, Hull FC 22. Now, now, yeah. Lee Radford allows himself a glimmer of a smile. Oh, Young sorry. George Lawler claps his hands. Adam Walker, Kelly, Kelly fires it wide to Ken Seo. Seo trying to burst through, but Ellis and Co. shepherding towards the sidelines. He's been Move all now. over this pitch, Gareth Ellis. Goal three. The clock counting down. They've got to come up with something now. Blair over the top and snaffled by Maher for Noah. And snaffled by Lee Radford's Hull FC side. Unbelievable. Down and out after an hour. Down on their knees. They have left Hull Kingston Rovers absolutely gobsmacked. The greatest Hull Derby comeback in the Super League era.